<laughs> but I want to talk about this. My husband's birthday was pretty recent. Mm -hmm. We decided we wanted to we wanted to take a trip, and this was kind of a big birthday, so we wanted to do it really special. So we went through a site called Pack Up and Go, where they planned three day vacations for you, and it's all a mystery until like the day of your trip. But they send you like a week before, they'll let you know what the weather is and what you need to pack. And then um, they send you your envelope and you open it up and then you find out where and you're you go. going. Yes, so it was so much fun. So take a look at our mystery trip. How are you feeling? Excited. Okay. <laughs> do you know yet? Yes. Yes, I do. You know? You are going to be shocked. I want to get your reaction. Okay. Can you hold the camera? Okay. Sure. It's still recording. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Open. <gasps> All right, show the camera. Show the camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> San Francisco, the city by the bay. Also a city that Topher and I have never been to before. So with our bags packed up, we took a look through our papers from Pack Up and Go to find out what we had in store. These tickets are to a comedy club. And that wasn't the only plan they had for us. You're booked for a North Beach and Little Italy food tour. Needless to say, we were very excited for the adventure ahead. How do you feel about San Francisco? Um, shocked and excited and ready to go. Yes. We arrived to San Francisco and got set up at our hotel. We took a look at the view outside and we were ready to explore the town. We walked up and down hills and made our way to Lombard Street, which claims to be the crookedest street in the world. We also checked out Ghirardelli Square, rode on one of the famous cable cars, and walked down Pier 39 which is a strip of shops perfect for tourists of all kinds. We made our way to Union Square, North Beach, Chinatown, and the ocean. Luckily, we had prepared to walk a lot. our first day coming to an end, we were looking forward to our next day in San Francisco. The next day, we checked out a place called the Conservatory of Flowers, where they display unusual and beautiful plants. to Golden Gate Park to experience a little more nature. With this picturesque day coming to an end, there was one more thing we really wanted to see. foggy, but that didn't distract us from the magnitude of this structure. Our trip was an unforgettable experience. If you're looking for a place that has culture, good food, beautiful sights, and so much more, San Francisco is a great option. It was 
was really fun. So it's just this whole, you just sign up. Yeah, you have to do it four weeks in advance. Okay. You pick your budget and then okay. you fill out a survey that's like what you're interested in, if you like cold weather or warm weather. Mm -hmm. They ask you if you have trips coming up, where you usually go, where you're from, so they're not sending oh, you somewhere you always nice. go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm they plan out everything like so beautifully like they send you like fact sheets about the town and then they'll send you just a whole list of things to do they do all of the work for you but it's a mystery it until the day it's a total mystery so if you're okay with that yes what's the website it's packupgo.com or packupandgo.com okay. something I'm like that i'm checking that out it's yes, super you cool it's awesome awesome all right